Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another How to Excel at Excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the How to Excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. And when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Hello and welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the sum function with a text box so you can sum your items in a list once you have ticked your check boxes. So let's get started. So I'm going to use my example data set here and I want to add up my expenses only when I have selected the tick box in column F. So whether the cells are ticked or unticked determines the amount uh, I have in my total cell. Look at how a check or tick box works in Excel. So a tick box in Excel has a status, status of either true or false. True is ticked, false is unticked. So this is pretty simple. So once it can link to a cell, we can use a conditional sum if function to sum the tick boxes. In this case, it is the expenses that have been paid. So let's do a sample. So the tick box is in the developer tab and it is in the controls group and it is insert form controls and select your tick box. Let's just place it here. So here we have our basic tick box checkbox. Next we need to customize the checkbox. And we use this using the format control option. So let's right click and hit format control. And then we go to the control tab. So we're going to link this to cell E15 in this example. Let's hit OK. So if we tick the checkbox, so if we tick the checkbox, this becomes true. If we untick it, it is false. So now we have a tick box working. So now we can use true or false to determine whether to involve the amount in column E in the SUMIF function. So let's go back to our original example. And it, so if I just change the colour of the font in these cells, we'll actually see the status of the checkbox. So this is the area that we're going to use with our SUMIF function to determine whether to add the amounts in E to our final calculation. So let's have a quick look at the SUMIF function just to go over it briefly. SUMIF, we need a range, we need a criteria and then the range of cells that we're going to sum. So SUMIF adds the cells specified by a given condition or criteria. So let's go ahead and start. So what we want to do is sum, we set the range that we want to look at which is our checkbox linked cell. The criteria is true and the sum range is this area here, which are, is our amounts. Let's close the parentheses and hit OK. What we could do is put, what we could do on the flip side is unpaid expenses, which would be the opposite. So if we change this to false, we have zero unpaid expenses, but if we begin to uncheck the tick boxes, all the expenses are now flagged as unpaid. So that's how to use a SUMIF function with a checkbox in Excel. This is quite useful for lists and keeping track of expenses if they've paid or unpaid in this example. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question, ring the notification bell so you know when I upload another video and I'll see you next time for another How to Excel at Excel.com video.